hey guys i hope everyone is doing well in today's video as i said in my previous saving food waste video i was going to be doing an unboxing of this massive box i've got beside me just off camera called odd box what odd box is it is basically all the stuff that doesn't look appealing enough for supermarkets to take it on and it's just fruit and vegetables that they sell for a certain price and honestly it is just such a clever idea it's just such a good idea so what happened was is because of it was my first order i got it at half price so this large box i got the biggest one that you could get it is usually 19.99 and i got it just for under £10 obviously so what I've done is I have untaped it and I'll show you how big the box is this if I can pick it up because it's really heavy this is how big the box is and as you open it there is literally you get this piece of paper which just says welcome Everything. I don't know if it'll focus but yeah so anyway it shows that and then basically what it does it just explains like what's been going on in the past month and everything and what you're most likely to get and everything in your box on inside it basically says how to store your things how to keep them fresh and if you need to change anything and there's that um it tells you like certain things that you should eat first that are in the box or if you have them in your box and then they also show a favorite recipe of the week and this one is a creamy pumpkin soup and then it goes through all of the ingredients and everything and on the back it basically when you get specific boxes you have certain things in them and then on the back what it does it tells you all the locations and all the items and how to store them and where they're from and basically it just tells you like why they couldn't be put into the sh the stop the shop so on some of them radishes are cosmetic defects apples the shape and size can be wrong and then but it gives you recipe ideas as well so beside for example beside the apple one you can make apple turnovers and then it tells you to store them in the fruit bowl and then what it does is at the side it tells you what boxes these ones will be in so basically everything that's on it it's just it's just such a clever idea it's this is on recycling recycled paper as well so it's all of this is recyclable and you're able to waste it and i think honestly it's such a good idea for the amount of money that you are getting for it this is the first one and just from opening it you can see literally you can see from the top of the screen that it is jam-packed full of stuff so what i'm going to do i'm going to go through bit by bit one of these things i'm looking at and i'm not entirely sure what it is so you know but so the first thing we get is this i can't rem i'm not entirely sure what it is but i know that if we don't eat it in a salad or something i know that the rabbit will eat it and then you get a massive bunch of celery and what they do is in the area that i'm in they deliver it overnight so because they try to save emissions and everything so obviously at night time there's no traffic and they can just drive through not get stuck in traffic or anything and cause more like emissions and everything so it's always trying to help and because we got it we got it i think it was like three o'clock in the morning because i was awake and i went outside just to check to see if it turned up and it was out and because it was there was a frost and it was freezing cold outside i was just like you know what i'm gonna just leave it out and get it in the morning so then yeah it was kept fresh so this is all kale and all of it comes in no packaging apart from very small things there's like one small paper bag in here which is a bit soggy but i think it's obviously from the fresh vegetables and fruit so what i'll do is i'll pop this to a side so we can get further in there is so much stuff in here that i think is a brilliant way of saving food 
because obviously you don't want food to go to waste, especially in these hard times. And I think it's a wonderful idea, especially because of COVID at the moment. If you are unable to get out, you can get stuff delivered in. So the next thing, oh, more kale. So the next thing is, let's go for, I never know the differences between oranges and clementines, but you get a whole bunch of these, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's all of it. Yeah, so you get eight of these oranges or clementines. I don't know the difference or tangerines, whatever you call them. So you get sound, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them back in the box because I'm running out of side on space on my side. And then you get also you get you get some red onions, right? Some diddy red onions, which will be absolutely fine because you get these, because obviously these are all things that aren't appealing to shops. So when you go in there, you're expecting these massive ones and everything. And you're always going to have, when growing stuff, you aren't always going to have what it looks like in the shops. Like from gardening experience myself and growing stuff myself, you will not always get stuff that looks like it does in the shop. So when it comes to like potatoes, they're not always going to be massive. I've had like ones that are really, really tiny. And yeah, it's all down to just cosmetics, which is absolutely ridiculous, but it's just the way supermarkets are. The next thing is carrots. We have quite a few carrots if I can get all of them right. leave it there for a second because what they do is they just place it in a box so obviously during transit it's all going to get mixed up so I'm trying to just grab all of it together so I can show you everything that is in here yes yeah, so I think that's all of them oh this one here Right, so these are all the carrots that you get as well. So if you think about it, when you go into a shop, they always end up giving you a certain amount of items for usually, it depends on where you go on what type of price it is. Um, so it's always a good idea to just have a look around if you are planning on going into places. And if you are going into places, maybe try and take your own brown bags maybe try and just do stuff that is helping the environment like i try my hardest with environment friendly stuff and i think that's like the only way that we can move forward with trying to help the environment as if everyone is trying their hardest at being environmentally friendly um this right there we go i can get into it now okay so the next thing is an absolutely ginormous cauliflower this is absolutely huge and as you can see nothing is wrong with it apart from some of these leaves are falling off which isn't an issue for me because obviously inside nothing wrong with it it doesn't look brown it doesn't look off it doesn't look anything it's just literally just the leaves on the outside and because it doesn't look good enough they won't sell it in the shop so if i can i might stop moving stuff around because everything there is so much in here and I wasn't expecting this much to be in here. Okay, so next, if we go, right, so as I said earlier, there was a brown bag and it does look a bit soggy, but it doesn't matter. That's my problem because my fault, because obviously, oh no, oh no. But anyway, there's radishes in it. That's all I'm going to say is there's loads of Diddy radishes and it is literally a massive bag full and if i pick it up they're all gonna fall out so i'm not gonna pick it up but there is a whole bunch of radishes there's about 20 odd radishes in here which is really good for the price because i know the radishes can cost quite a bit of money there's also two very tiny pumpkins so that will come in handy with obviously the ingredients um recipe that was shown in the little newsletter that you get which is a weekly newsletter so what i'll do is i'll pop these on the floor because i know that these are grown outside on the floor so no big deal and i can always wash it okay so the next thing 
is potatoes. We have, I don't know what type of potatoes these are, but I know that I've probably just got myself a splinter from the pumpkin, but no problem there. And the thing, what I like about potatoes is, is if you don't eat them all and you want to save money, what you can do is you can actually, if you get these and they have what you call eyes on them, I don't know if I'll be able to show you an example of one starting up. Um, but basically what they do is they start sprouting and what you can do is basically put them in some soil and you leave them, cover them up a little bit. And then as soon as it starts like growing from, like you can see it sprouting up, you put some more soil on it. And then you have this go for about three to four months and it's really cool. And you just keep piling up, piling up, piling up. And then what happens is, is it will grow these like flowers type of things. And when they start to die off and all like the planty bit, the planty bit browns and get so horrible what you can do is take it out it means that it's ready to be sorted you take it out pull it up go through all the soil and then after that with one potato you can get about five or six potatoes it may not seem a lot but if you have the space in the garden and you plant quite a few of these you will have your own homegrown food i have got some homegrown potatoes myself and they did take a bit of time to do because of just got into gardening so i don't really know what i'm doing but i've got that so it's kind of like a cheap way of doing it and all you're doing is using leftover stuff and it's really really clever like one potato gives you like five potatoes six potatoes in the end and that's on any type of potato sweet potatoes i'm not too sure on but i'm going to be learning that in the near future so it's not it's not not in my head at the moment so that's like one of the next things i want to be doing okay so the next thing is apples we have i don't know what type of apples these are i don't know if, i don't know the difference between cooking apples but i think these are just like normal apples and you get two three i think there's only three in here which isn't an issue because obviously we've got so much in this box yeah, so three apples. Da, da, da. Two pomegranates. And I know that pomegranates can be quite expensive on their own. And last but not least, from the looks of it, I don't want to miss anything out for you guys, is actually a pineapple. So oh, pineapples on their own usually cost about two to three pounds so that and then like a bag of bag of oranges or satsumas whatever you call them that's usually about two pounds so that's five pounds on its own and then you've got the potatoes apples pomegranates carrots red onions radishes celery kale cauliflower two pumpkins and this one for me was just under £10. Usually it's £19.99. pence. That does include shipping. So it is all included. So if anyone thinks that it is rather expensive, it's up to you whether or not you get it. With it, you can get add-ons. So you can get extra fruit if you want extra fruit. You can get extra vegetables. or It, it depends on what your preference is. So it's all down to whether or not you are interested in something like this if you know you're going to be consuming it all if you know that you're not going to waste any but even then if you feel like you're going to waste some of the stuff you can always compost it if you're not going to be using it you can always reuse some of the stuff you can like if like for example with the potatoes you can if you don't think that you're going to be using the potatoes in time or they start sprouting because you haven't used them in time you can pop them in the garden and you can grow your own so there is quite a few little things that you can do on bits on its own and honestly i think this is worth the money as you can see i what i will do is if i take you yes hello right, if i take you this is everything in the box minus the big big pieces and as you can see there isn't anything really in here that can cause like waste or anything and yeah, the only plastic that I think comes every now and again is if it's something that has already been pre-packaged and isn't being sold. So, 
yeah that is everything and this was oh and this weird little green thing that i don't know what it is but i'm gonna soon find out but yeah with that being said what i will do is if you go through my what it is is it's a referral thing so if i put my link down below you are able to get a referral for 10 pounds off your first order so if i put my link in the description if you put that in and then i'll just type my name for the person that has sent you what will happen is you will get 10 pounds off your first order the great thing about this is is you can actually on the weeks because it's usually a weekly thing what you can do is you can actually choose when he wants your order so if you want to miss a week because you're not really up feeling for it or anything you can skip the week and you won't get charged for it but it is a recurring delivery and it is every week every two weeks or whenever you want it so that is what i found interesting about this i think this is going to be a wonderful idea at christmas so that's going to be like one of the big things that we're going to be using it for and especially with everything that's going on at the moment I would rather be staying at home than going out shopping and if this is the way forward of getting our fresh fruit and vegetables i am here for it so yeah i hope everyone is doing well if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and yeah i hope everyone is staying safe and i shall talk to you guys very very soon